Today I'm going to show you how to get the BuyTorrent client views. First, you're going to have to open your web browser and go to google.com and search views. Then you're going to click the first link that pops up. You're going to download the free views download and then save it on your PC when it's done you're going to open it by double clicking but I'm not gonna do it because I already have views installed on my PC so this is what it should look like when it's done okay this is the views but let me show you something you type in whatever you want to download and it'll do a web search and a meta search now you can do either one but I use the meta search click on that notice how it has all the torrent sites that are currently available for views uh... when you first get it it won't have these you're gonna have to install the templates so i'm gonna show you how to do that real quick you're gonna have to open your web browser and go to google.com and search use templates and then click search and you're going to want to click on the site that has the google and then views templates downloads and it's click it should look like this View search template downloads and it has the different ones that are compatible with the views. And you go down and you click download. Right, right now, the only one I know that won't work because it's password protected is the ISO Hunt one. So I wouldn't even bother download that because I expect to get everything without a password so these are the ones you would choose all of these the only one you wouldn't choose would be the iso hunt dot views okay once you download them you'll exit out you'll go to your views then you'll come down here you have to click on the meta search to get to this part and you click add and then you'll go import a new template then you'll find where you downloaded those templates and then once I do one at a time but I'm sure you, you can do two or three at a time and then you click after you click import a new template and import the the uh, templates you can click save and it'll and these should show up after you're done and that's how you add the templates to what they do is they search all these websites like the pirate bay torrent reactor bits new bit scene they search all these sites and they even search the uTorrent sites if you get that one and they right here it tells you how big the files are from 0 bytes to 48.21 gigabytes and you can choose uh, right there what what size you want the files 
and what you do is you look down the list and see what you want to download and you can click here and go to the next page as you can see I'm on page 2 of 36 right now there's 36 pages of downloads and you just scroll the list and see what do they have from all these different sites and you can see the icons beside the so you can tell where the torrents coming from and you keep searching and see if you find the download that you want and I'm sure they have one of the whole series on here somewhere and I'm looking I'm not seeing anything I want Naruto should put in movie 5 but prison OVA I might want that one later and they even have this Japanese one it's weird I'm looking I'm not seeing let's be more specific and then just, just type that in yeah here it is there's one on to uh, kick ass torrents with Naruto the complete series and there's one Naruto the complete series plus movies as you can see there's 13 seeds and 50 peers it would be better if it had more seeds than peers but that is not the case but I'm sure this would be a good torrent still I already have Naruto the complete series so I'm not gonna download it and whoa 79.3 gigabytes I there's a lot of stuff but what you would do when you're downloading you would click on this and uh, another screen will pop up click that and it's thinking my computer's lagging a little bit oh this will pop up and you click continue downloading I'm not going to because I don't need that file and it will start downloading and then you can go to library or new and it'll have the, the, the files you've already downloaded and when it's downloading it will have the downloading thing it'll appear right here and here's your search and right uh, here it has device playback what you will want to do when you use this you'll have to try and code the videos I recommend if you're working with PS3 I would convert to an MP4 format and then I would drag them onto the device that you want to play on in order for them to be streamed from your PC to your at PS3 and stuff like that alrighty that's thanks for watching please stay tuned for my next video